Hello, everybody, and welcome to the grand finale, the grand finale of Let's Play Spyro 3 Year of the Dragon. In this episode, well, we've got the super bonus world. So the super bonus world is, uh, well, as you can guess by the last two names, or last two parts of the name, a bonus world. So we were talking last episode about going a little bit over 100%, and well, in this episode, we're going to wind up doing just that, even more so. I mentioned a little while ago that, uh, I think at least I mentioned that we go to 117% in this game, and yes, this is where you get, well, the last little bit. So yeah, we get to go raid the sorceress thing, get all the treasure, that thief just ran straight towards us. That's not good, but whatever. Um, either way, let's get on with getting the, uh, the treasure, shall we? So yeah, this is just a giant collection thing for the moment. We're just really going to go to, go around and collect all the treasure and kill all the thieves until we can unlock some of these doors. And there's little bonusy games behind all the doors. And, uh, well, those have even more gems. Well, some of them are bonus games, at least others are just other areas or, well, something. Either way, let's just get on and go find all of the thieves because, well, the thieves need to be captured. No reason not to capture them. They're not that bad, and again, it's all just kind of getting some thieves, getting a whole bunch of gems. There's a ton of them around, as you can tell. And also, as you can tell, our gem count is absolutely skyrocketing. Look at that thing go up and up and up. I think made it go up faster was Moneybags thing. Now there are flying saucers in the air, as you might have noticed. There was a little one right there. And, well, we can't do anything about those at the moment, at least not to my knowledge. Maybe you can flame them if you're really, really good, but I'm going to say probably not. I mean, I'm, I'm going to guess that they're immune to it, is what I'm, what I'm trying to essentially say here, but yes. So welcome, really, to the grand finale. Now, this is, this is actually basically going to be it for Year of the Dragon. I know there was an episode, two episodes ago, touted as the finale but that well that was really just because we beat the final boss the game still kind of went on because there was a ton of post-game stuff by a ton of post-game stuff I mean about two episodes worth there might be a little more Spyro content in the meantime not immediately this is definitely the finale we're talking bonus episode type of deals here uh, bonus episodes might be just to show up a few things like the skill points I didn't manage to get throughout the levels or, uh, I don't know, maybe the cheat codes or something, but, yeah. So, both Bianca and Hunter, when we find Hunter, are actually going to claim that the other was worried about Spyro. But I think we've killed all the thieves for now, so let's actually try to go in some of these doors. Right? Right. So this first one opens up here, and it brings us back to one of our favorite minigames. The sub-minigame. So yeah, we're free to just go in the sub. There's no poison water this time, thankfully. So let's just hop on and go ride that sub all the way to victory. Thankfully, though, unlike the last time, we can collect gems through the sub this time. I'm not sure why Hunter's sub is so much more technically uh, advanced than the last one we used, but yes, you can. You are actually allowed to absorb gems through the hull of the sub this time. Also, all of the gem sounds are really, really loud. Uh, so hopefully I'm going to try to actually get those down a little bit because those are actually ear-splittingly loud, nearly. But yes, there are a grand total of seven of these guys down here, all with more gems than ever before. Look at that. We've already gained, like, a thousand and a half. This, actually this is actually legitimately better in terms of gem count than the Spyro 1 bonus, I think. Yeah, I think the Spyro 1 bonus only had, uh, only had approximately, uh, I don't know how I got that guy. I think the Spyro 1 bonus level only had 2,000 gems, and I think this has 5,000. So, but yeah, Spyro 1 had a 120% complete, so the math is obviously different on the, the dragon slash dragon eggs to gems ratio or something, I guess. I don't know. I didn't design those formulas, I just know what the game tells me. Is this the last sub? Yes it is. Let's get him destroyed. And uh, let's get out of here, there's no actual other gems throughout this thing. It's all just... 
there. We got them all. Let's get out of here. Let's get to the next one. And if you didn't like that one, well, this one might be a little bit more of a pain in the ass. Yeah, but as you can see, we have 5,000, and we're actually already halfway there. And then there's a secret egg, because of course we'd want to round it off to 150. But yeah, so this one now is the last skating level of the game. Now this one, again like the one in Lost Fleet, so I, I don't really know why these two mini games are based off of Lost Fleet, and I'm just realizing this now, but they actually are. So there are gems along this track and gems for winning as a prize. So same deal as the last time we did this in Lost Fleet, except for, well, technically this is not skateboarding, it's snowboarding. But um, who are we to judge here? Now these Gettys are, um, I guess, trying to murder us? No, they just... But the deal is that if Hunter loses, he has to skate down the, uh, the thing in his uh, on his tongue. No, they don't show it to us. I wish they would. Because if they would show it to us, I would totally feel not bad about losing this every single time. I lost this a ton. This took a while to record. You're just seeing my first attempt right now. And you can tell that I am in 7th out of 7th place. And I will basically stay there now, I think, for the rest of this race. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah. It's a little crappy. I just went and ran into Hunter, too. Because I'm bad at this. Yeah, it, it actually, I actually got so frustrated at this at one point, I actually stopped recording this and then came back like a week later to finish recording this. No, that's not why the finale is delayed so long, it's just because I've been working a lot. Sorry, everybody. Um, unless you're watching this like 10 years down the road, in which case you're probably just clicking on this in playlist view and have no idea what we're talking about. Actually, it's really weird to think about that because Let's Play is 10 years old now. The oldest Let's Plays are actually 10 years old, so all of those like... 10 years from now jokes, the whole decade later thing as well. Those are actually, uh, actually starting to come a little true now. It's also weird to think of me as one of the older LPs. At least in terms of time I've done this. Yeah. All right, let's get, let's get almost on topic here. I mean, I guess I really haven't been around for the most part in the past couple. Yeah, we're actually starting to get lapped at this point because of how much we just absolutely sucked. And we, speaking of laps, we still have an entire lap to go. We managed to get up there. And I think somehow still missed the crab. The crabs obviously is before. Uh, will give you extra um, boost, -y boost, 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 should you need it. Just in case you need it for probably good reason. We managed to take out more yetis who were lapping us. At this point, I had kind of given up and just really started to collect the gems. Because there were... There are quite a few gems around the track. So thankfully, if you're playing like me and you've unlocked Sparks, the, even though there's a ton of like separate portions of this level, it's actually fairly easy to find all the gems once you're done because you can just use the Sparks locator. Which, by the way, might actually be... Now that I'm thinking about it, sitting here with a nearly completed file, or actually, in reality, the file is completed because I'm just commentating over this. It might actually be best if you're only missing like one or two gems unless you need those gems or are completely crazy about doing things to actually kind of hold off until you get that Sparks ability before you go cow or crawling through the levels for uh, for whatever missing gems. Especially because you can warp around after you get to the post game. You guys recall that, right? There's no actual reason to, to use portals anymore. Who cares about portals? Straight up warp places. But yeah, so this is my successful attempt now, <laughs> like a week and like probably about 10 tries later. Yeah, it, it, it was not pretty, I'm not gonna lie. It was not a pretty sight trying to make all these attempts. But I'm not, I don't think, known as a Let's Player who makes a living or, well, to be more precise, not one screaming it. Uh, screaming at the camera when things go wrong. No, that's the vlog channel. Um, enough plugging my own other things, though. Uh, let's stay back to focused on commentating things, though. Uh, you always have to be careful because sometimes, of course, the track is very curved. It, it is a figure eight, I believe, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So you have to be careful because, of course, the entire thing is curved. So if you're doing your tricks, you're very, very likely to wind your way off a cliff. So the straightaways are good, are thankfully designed as good portions to, uh, to be good hosts. Anyway, we are in third place now. 
and actually, thankfully, doing decently well. Now second, with one whole lap to go. It's weird seeing this all now, but like actually being successful just because I've done this so many times unsuccessfully. So many times. Be lucky I cut it out or we'd be sitting here with like probably a 45 minute grand finale and I just did not want any of that. I actually just took a break because I was like, I have a chance of doing this and I wanted to just like wipe my hands from the sweat as gross as that sounds just from how stupid it was just trying to do this. And I managed to actually take the lead Yeti out with my board because that does happen for whatever reason. And they can take you out sometimes. It's really weird when it happens. So just kind of do your best. And I managed to somehow take him out again and just barely squeeze out that win. Just barely. Yeah, we got it. So we get the giant, giant chest of gems now. Again, there were quite a lot there. And as you can tell, we're already up to over 18,000 gems. And like, we, so we started it at 15, by the way, if you weren't paying attention or have forgotten since the last time. But no matter, we can now, if we just do that little go backwards glitch here, we can get that one gem that was eluding me. And I think that's it for in here. I'm pretty sure at least. One more check of Sparks. And Sparks isn't doing anything, so we're out of here. And I accidentally touched the skateboard thing, but you can actually skateboard right into the exit portal. No harm, no foul. Now, I went into the wrong portal here, so I just cut away because, well, let's not be stupid. So the next task you have here is a flying task to go, um, to go to actually now you get the the flight thing that un, for whatever reason it's not unlimited but you can still use it to go f flame all of the ufos i just realized as well as it, it i was talking earlier like you could somehow not get into the super bonus world without having done all of the sparks levels to get the ability for you to use the sparks finder and um well that's just not possible because you have to have literally everything in the game unlocked except for the skill points to come back here oh well whatever Mistakes have been made. But yeah, you do want to make sure whenever you get close, you just come through for a, a quick little refill of the uh, the good old flight juices. Just to kind of make sure you stay yourself on track. Couple more to go still. We've still got three more to go. But as you can tell, we are just about 500 gems away from, from being done with this entire game. And now even less than that. <laughs> is this the last guy? No, it is not. One more left to go. And he was just conveniently enough floating right down here by our usual uh, refill spot here. So let's just hunt him down. And one nice little hit. We got 5,000 gems here to bring us up to a grand total of 20,000. And get to unlock this last door here. Now what's behind this last door, you might be asking? Well, the answer is that I wanted to, to uh, actually make sure the recording was okay. And now we can go in the door. The sorceress? This wasn't foreshadowed at all with her hand coming out of the lava two episodes ago. Yeah, so she survived. Now we gotta face her off in the, um, the one of the, the ships of doom. She can't destroy them this time. But yeah, so just kind of just go dish out some damage to her. It's not super difficult, thankfully. I recall this also taking a lot of frustration, but I'm pretty sure I did it in just the two tries I showed. So apparently it's a little bit more difficult than the, uh, than the one, than the first sorceress fight, if you want to judge by my standards. But apparently my standards are really wonky, so... Because I had more trouble with the first sorceress than I did with any of the other bosses in the entire game. No, I'm not sure why. But we're not going to question this, are we? I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it at all. That even makes sense? I don't think it did. But yeah, so we're, we're on somewhat equal playing grounds. But of course, the sorceress is just trying to really evade and shoot at us. And unfortunately, her... Her... 
Ambo seems to be doing a, seems to be a lot better at homing than ours is. But uh, well, get enough hits on her shouldn't be that bad. She just ran into us. It does nothing. She can't obviously evaporate the ship like she could. Ships don't evaporate in the main boss. But I just died there, so we get to do this all over again. And of course, when you die, Sparks does not refill the full health, by the way, so just pay attention to that. So you might want to, if you're having trouble with this, actually go outside and go find a, uh, a health refill. Because it might be the best way to deal with it. I took the hit for that one and I got three out of it. So is it worth it? Maybe. I don't know how I didn't get hit on that one, but I didn't. If you want to pretend I got hit, you can just pretend it was actually my last big hit that, uh, that I didn't get because the game doesn't refill you to full health when you have the health extension. If you can, f if you can try to manage to guess where she's going to land, the thing or well not really land it but stop it that's kind of your best bet to just stay a little bit ahead of her and try to have one ending for where she's going to stop because she does move around fairly fr not really frantically but fairly quickly and these bullets are very very slow so that might be one of your best ways of dealing with her but as you can tell we've still got two hits left and are actually doing fairly well because well we're good and yes the the game is having difficulty trying to render everything all at the same time because the fog effect is not working properly right now for whatever reason. But we're too close to the end to care. Also, her laugh sounds really, really weird compared with her cry of pain. It sounds more like Bianca is just laughing at us in the background, to be completely honest. And I'm not really sure why. I mean, that's just what it sounds like to, uh, to me. But anyway, that's the last hit. The sorceress goes down, crashes in there, and reveals that very secret dragon egg that we, uh, was, well, the game was hiding from us. This is Yin Yang, or actually really Yin and Yang. Yes, the last dragon egg has a custom animation with, uh, with two dragons intact. And we get one final cutscene for us. For whatever reason, my emulator actually rendered this correctly, too, in terms of the transition into it. I guess more my screen recorder. And it's really just, there's no words to this cutscene at all. Just Spyro and one of the presumably dragon elders playing with all the little baby dragons. Except for that, the burp. Bless you. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, so that's the, <laughs> that's the last cutscene for Spyro. Um, no, unfortunately, that's not a joke, or fortunately, depending on your point of view. That is actually the last cutscene of the game. We're done. That's everything. That's absolutely everything. We've gotten our 100%. We have unlocked literally everything in the game, done literally everything. 111% here, gotten everything done, got all the home worlds 100%, including the Sparks World, that lovely 117 so here's the epilogue. I didn't realize this until I pressed the button during this recording. It's actually just a series of pages with um, different things. That's a reference to a cheat code, which I guess will show off in a bonus episode. It's kind of weird. And not very rewarding, but still. That's it. So the only things left if we want to do bonus episodes are these skill points. So as you can tell, we've still got two there, a couple there, a couple there. Got all the ones on the last page. So we've got about 75% of those, so I might try to get those extra ones a, a little bit later on. I think several of the missing ones are all three skateboarding skill points, but really? That's it. We're done with this Let's Play, guys. It's over. Thank you all for watching.